Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this insightful presentation about presidential candidate Ng Kok Song. In this video, we will explore the life and career of Mr. Ng, as well as his motivations for running for Singapore's highest office. As always, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below, hit that like button if you find the information valuable, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more unbiased content like this. Ng Kok Song is a well-known figure in Singapore, having served as a civil servant for a significant portion of his life. One of the most notable aspects of his background is his close association with members of Singapore's old guard, particularly the late Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew. It is said that Mr. Ng taught meditation to Lee in his later years, and Lee considered him his best student. Their bond was so strong that Lee would ask for recordings of their meditation lessons to study them further and even sent questions to Mr. Ng for clarification. With an extensive career in reserve management, Ng Kok Song has spent most of his professional life working with Singapore's financial reserves. He started as an investment analyst in the Ministry of Finance under Deputy Prime Minister Go Kung Sui and later joined the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS and the Government of Singapore Investment Corporation, GIC, where he ultimately became the Chief Investment Officer. He believes that his vast experience in handling the country's reserves uniquely qualifies him for the role of President, as safeguarding these funds is a crucial responsibility. Another aspect of Ng's qualifications is his 45-year tenure as a civil servant, which he claims makes him well-suited to uphold the integrity of public service, a significant role of the president. Moreover, he prides himself on not having any political affiliation, something he has highlighted on multiple occasions. Despite his impressive background, Ng Kok Song acknowledges that he may not be as well-known locally as some of his rivals due to his avoidance of the limelight during his public service career. However, he embraces the underdog status, seeing it as an opportunity to emerge victorious in the presidential race. Ng's motivation for running for president centers around two main points. Firstly, he wants to help secure Singapore's future, addressing concerns among the youth about job prospects and the ability to support their families. Secondly, he believes that Singapore is facing a political crisis of confidence and trust, and his candidacy can contribute to rebuilding faith in the political system. While Ng Kok Song is optimistic about his chances, he recognizes the challenge of meeting the stringent criteria set by the Presidential Elections Commission. He stands firm in his belief that he meets the requirements and is genuinely committed to winning the election. Lastly, we cannot ignore the public's fascination with Ng's fiancée, Sybil Lau, who is 30 years younger than him. Their relationship has garnered attention due to the significant age difference. However, they have decided to respect Chinese tradition by observing a three-year mourning period after Lao's mother's passing before pursuing marriage. In conclusion, Ng Kok Song's journey from a civil servant to a presidential candidate is filled with unique experiences and motivations. As Singaporeans head to the polls, his qualifications, experience in reserve management, and dedication to public service are likely to be key points of discussion. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, and subscribe to our channel for more unbiased content like this in the future. Thank you for watching.